Hey, welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a big barn. As you can see, I've got it kind of sketched out. It's going to take up most of the most of the canvas right here. Um, I'm ready to get started if you are, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks for watching. I am going to go ahead and start up. My brush is already blue. This is probably my third or fourth painting of the day. And I got some liquid white right here. And I was trying to spread it on, and it spread on so easy, I thought, well, I mean, I'm not even going to put any blue on my brush. I don't need to. I'm just going to use this liquid white right here and just put this in. There's not a lot of sky here anyway. So I just cut out the middleman. I'll just use my dirty brush and finish the sky. I think I want it to come probably as close as I can. I think maybe in here. Maybe right in there somewhere and come down. Yeah, if I tried to put this liquid white on here. With this brush that's already dirty, you guys would think I was cheating. So I thought, well, I'm just going to turn the camera on and show them that my brush is dirty. And I'm actually trying to put liquid white on, but it's just my brush is too dirty. I may need to put some blue on this here in a second. Maybe just run this up down the edge. Yeah, it's just a little, corners are a little pale. I don't, want, I don't want the corners to be pale. Oh, yeah. See, it makes a big old difference, don't it? Across the top, maybe. I think I might have a big tree right in here. Yeah, I don't want it too pale. Let's see, I don't want to come down too far with this dark collar. Decisions, decisions. A big tree there. Make sure I got this right here good. Okay. I think I might just leave it at this. Like I said, there's a big tree here. This is that's going to cover most of that, and this is probably okay. I think we'll just leave it leave it alone right there. Okay. So I got this put on here, and I wiped the collar. I wiped the paint right off. I put it on. I wiped it off as much as I could. And someone would probably say, why in the world would you ever do that? Put paint on there and turn right around and wipe it off again. Well, the reason is, as crazy as it sounds, all I wanted to do was stain the ca canvas. I wanted to put a coat of paint on there and then wipe it off. And now I can put my next layer of paint on to... Um, you know the shed the, the color of my boards and all that stuff and that's why you do that that's why a lot of times I'll start with acrylic because acrylic dries in minutes because you know this is oil paint that I'm using acrylic will dry in minutes and I can just start putting paint on top of that same principle except this is oil paint it's, it'll stay wet longer but at least I got the first coat of paint down I hope that wasn't too confusing. I almost confused myself telling you. And what I'm doing here now, if you anybody seen me paint before, I'm just putting some collars down. Then I'm going to take my one inch brush and I'm going to blend it all together. You start with lighter and it gets darker as you come down. And that's what we're doing here right now. Putting my, this is going to be my grass. 
And down here toward the bottom, I'm going to put some blue. Because it needs to be darker. Especially in the corners along the edge. And I'm also going to throw in some red. Red is a foreground color. So it's perfectly fine to use it up front. Okay, now let me get my one inch brush. Let me wipe it off and see what's in it. I've been I've been painting all day long. Okay. It's sort of clean, <laughs> I guess. I'm just going to blend this all in right here. I'm going to stay away from the barn for a minute so I don't contaminate my brush any worse than what it is. And I'm going to start working my way down. I'm just blending all this together. I'm trying to stay out of my dark colors for a second until I come further down. The real dark ones like the blues. I don't mind to get into the greens. But I don't want to get into the blues just yet. I'll go ahead and get a little closer to the barn now. Since I've got most of that yellow in. Okay, let me pull it out just a little. Let's give you a good variation of colors. Yeah, when you get down here at the bottom, you definitely don't want to go back up. No, 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 no. Let me get this stuff. Once you hit this blue and this red down here, you're stuck down here till you clean your brush. Okay. Keep messing around with this here for a few and I'm gonna go over all this again with the fan brush this is just my starting collar here set that back and I'll get ready to start on this okay as you can see I got I put a lot of colorful boards on here and I'm gonna lighten some of these up actually I'm gonna take a little brown some white some brown and I'm going to lighten up some of these boards here that I'm looking at and I think I'm going to make this all black make this a loft put some straw up in there I'm going to lighten these up a little not too much but just enough to make a difference I've still got my painting down here that I'm looking at I always have something to look at uh, let's see here, probably this one. Some of these right here need to lit up. See, this is an old, old, old looking barn. And that's how we want it to look. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. A little bit down here. Lighten this up. This. Uh, perhaps this. Yeah, I got some of these boards a little too dark. Stand back and take a peek. Got to stand back and take a peek once in a while, don't you? This one and this one. I want the sun to be hitting the front of this barn. I think I'm going to put a great big gnarly looking tree right here. I like that word gnarly. Let's see over right here. This is actually the corner. This will be the last board that I brighten up on this side ok 
Okay, a few more here. Let's do some of these down in here. Yeah, you get a few boards of dark, you gotta, you gotta redo them a little bit. That's all right, see we're putting on more collar. And that's fine. The more collar the better. Let's do a couple right here. Maybe this one. Okay, got that one. Yeah, maybe this one. there okay let's go ahead and start on our big gnarly tree right here I'm gonna take a bunch of brown a bunch of black let's see here we want it to oh gosh I want a big tree it's I want a big fat big fat tree Let's bring him. Let's bring him on down to here. Curve it back. Clear down to there. Okay, I want a big fat branch. Coming down to here. Big fat, big fat crazy branch. Yeah, what a great big gnarly looking tree to match the gnarly, gnarly looking barn. Big, nice, wide. Big, wide, fat one. All right, let's put some more big, big branches on here. And we're gonna have one right in here. least a few coming out through here. Another one right here. I'm gonna throw all this in. Just come back and take a look. Okay, I got my big fat tree in here. We're going to start on some grass. I, I think I may want a little path right there. I don't know. We'll just see how it looks when I once I get going with it. Remember, the sun should be hitting the front of this. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to put the brightest collars up near the building. And work our way down. Get up in here against the building. Okay, this got drops down right there, so that would not get the brightest colors. I'm gonna grab a little ochre. Mix in. Just 
start getting a little darker as we're coming down. A little bit more. I don't think I'm getting enough on here. Let's try that again. Okay, looks a little better. And we're just going to keep working our way down here. Put a little green in there. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put some fence posts in here. I think that's what it needs right here. It needs something, and I believe it might be fence posts. So let's start right here. Let's see, this is where I want to start. Sure, why not? We'll start right here. We'll just put a few in. Probably here. Probably here. Just randomly putting them in here and there. It should be a little bigger as it get closer. Maybe this one was a little bigger. So is this one using black and brown right now. And maybe one right here. Stand back and look. I might have to make them a little bigger. Step back and look. How's that? And this barrel right here, it kind of blends in with the barn. I'm going to have to make it darker or do something with it now that I'm looking at it I'll make it a little darker maybe on this side make it maybe stand out more make it more brown I should say put that there right here where the sun should be hitting it kind of smear it in a little bit okay make these a little bigger here still don't think they're big enough And here needs to be a little taller. All right, I think that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed this barn. Um, I really like doing it. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching.